All right, today we're checking out Christopher Cross. We're listening to the song, Ride Like the Wind. Let's get into it. Cool little okay. breakdown. Oh, it's interesting because uh, lyrically it sounds like he's a rebel kind of guy. Got nine lives, gun down ten. Right, but it's so chill. Right. But aren't like rebel criminals like the real good ones? Aren't they kind of like that? I don't know. I don't really watch all that criminal stuff you watch. Eh? <laughs> they always just seem so, like you think they're gonna just be like super lit and super crazy and like in your face. It's gonna be so obvious and it's like they're so chill and nonchalant mm. that it's like. You would never guess some of the things these people have done. Well, that's like high level, though, right? Yeah. Like the lower level guys try to prove how tough they are. Right, right.
Okay. He was cutting up with that solo. <laughs> oh, man. What are we talking about? you like, there it is. The guitar. I was like, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, oh, this song sounds good. I like it, whatever. But I'm like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, how is this soft rock? Because, like, you would think they would take hard rock with all the same instruments and everything, and it would just be, like, softer version of that. But I'm like, where is it? How can you be rock at all with the electric guitar missing? And then, boom, it was like, I was like, whoo. There it is. Right. I thought so uh, soft rock was more like Simple Man or something, you know? Oh, like Southern Rock. Yeah, oh. I thought it would be more like that. Oh, Okay. And this is more like Bee Gees, like more like... More like R&B. It's closer to R&B yeah. than it is to Southern Rock or like Simple yeah. Man, you know? More, yeah, more like Bob Seger Night Moves, like those vibes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I guess Southern Rock is totally different than Soft Rock. Yeah. Oh, we need to do a Southern Rock stream one of these days. Definitely. Another That'd one. That would be fun. We've done one before. Yeah. But yeah, that was, I liked it. I love how all these songs are so relaxing and just like so, They. I feel like they're not very... They're not like, I don't know, dark and heavy emotions. So far, at least. Right. right. Like, it's kind of like a very relaxing, like, that's why I was thinking boating. It's just such a good vibe for soft rock. I mean, this one so far has been like the craziest one lyrically. Like, what's going on? What is? Well, he said, he got nine lives, gunned down ten. He's on the way to the border of Mexico. It's a long way. He has a long way to go to get to the border. So he's like fleeing. How are they singing about this wild stuff so, like, relaxed? Right. Like, that was the most interesting thing to me, that, like, the lyrics compared to the sound. If someone played you this instrumental, you had to guess what the song was about, you would never guess this. You would never guess. He's, so like, that's running for Mexico. Yeah, that's an interesting pairing. He's running for Mexico because he just did something dirty. And he's like a real crazy person. That's great. Wow. I wonder if anyone's, like, ran to Mexico before listening to the song. Like, they played this while they're on their drive. Maybe. <laughs> wow. Okay. Plot twist. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where did it go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like, I don't know. But I don't know. 